Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, I made a part one to this video, and here's part two because part one was pretty useful to people, and for some people it wasn't very useful. And this part now, part two, uh, will be useful to everybody with good and bad computers. Obviously, my first video for more frames uh, wasn't very helpful to people with bad computers who wanted more scenery. They didn't exactly have bad computers, they had alright computers, but not good enough for Flight Simulator. Everyone knows Flight Simulator is extremely power demanding. So, here's something helpful that you can use to combine part two and part one. When you get to your main Flight Simulator folder, I will not tell you how to get there because it's pretty obvious to everybody. You get, you click on the Origin folder and there will be only one XML document in there called default. You right click, rename, and put default old. D-E-F-A-U-L-T-O-L-D. No space, no underscore. I'll even show you how it's done. Open with paint, and I'll type it up for you. D-E-F-A-U-L-T-O-L-D. The new XML document's name should look like this. For some people it helps, for some people it doesn't. Why does it work? Um, it's a long story, but if you want to find out why or how it works, you can private message me or send me a comment. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys get, well, more frames in your flight simulator. If you have any other questions, you can send me a private message or comment, as I said before. And there's a part three coming it's very soon.